Blended learning has become a very important part of education in recent years. So even education ministers have adopted a council recommendation on blended learning in 2021. Blended learning can be a blend of learning sites or blend of different digital and non-digital tools. Because of all that and the big importance of blended learning, our working group schools has explored how we all can support blended learning, especially we, the policymakers. There are basically three primary different ways of mediating experience. Now, what's necessary in all three, because alone the learner is, is left to kind of process these experiences herself. What is needed is a dialogue, is a dialogue towards meaning making. What makes learning inclusive is when the learning situation is so um, organized, is so arranged that all learners can actively participate at their own level, out of their own interests, and are given the support that they need to be able to do so. And obviously, blended learning offers many opportunities for literally blending these different modes of experience so that learning has this rich uh, tapestry of experience to draw on. Policymakers, as such, and especially ministries, need to make possible for schools and teachers to have enough time in the curricula to carry out blended learning. So flexibility of curricula is of great importance and it, it must not be prescribed too much. The teachers also need our support regarding the devices, but also the training for the use of all these digital devices and uh, digital tools. And what is very important that they have a place where they can share their experiences. Schools and teachers do wonderful things and we, the policymakers, need to make it possible for them to have access to different national or European platforms to share all these experiences. Uh, we see in Croatia that schools do magnificent uh, cooperation with local communities. And for example, uh, our schools do a great uh, job with the police. So we have the police officer coming into the school, teaching the first graders the traffic culture, and they take them actually into the streets so that the uh, first graders can experience uh, what the traffic is like. And this is how we believe that schools should be open to, to um, uh, local communities and that we all together should uh, make it possible for our students to have the best possible education. School leaders can support blended learning for inclusion by allowing sufficient autonomy for all teachers so that creativity could flourish. The teacher should be seen as professionals who know what is best for their pupils and how the learning process could be made more meaningful for them. Of course, a legal framework needs to support it. For example, in Estonia, the national curriculum is based on competencies, skills and learning outcomes. And this allows the teacher to actually blend learning because this means that the teachers have almost full autonomy for deciding how the learning process is actually designed as long as the learning outcomes are fully achieved. This autonomy allows them to create networks and partnerships with, for example, uh, for example uh, employers or non-governmental organizations and bring them into the classroom or take the lessons outside uh, of the classroom, for example, to laboratories, museums, parks, forests, wherever they want to, as long as the learning outcomes are achieved. 
Another thing that uh, a school leader can do is to facilitate cooperation between uh, the uh, school and the private sector. In Estonia, there is a culture of public-private partnerships between schools and private enterprises, and it is deeply rooted in our society. But all in all, I think that it is important to create an environment of trust and culture of cooperation for blended learning to uh, actually happen.